Hey John, how's the real estate market? You know that right there is probably the most common question I get asked on a daily basis. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the real estate market and how it applies to the Queen Creek, Arizona area. If that's something that interests you, I invite you to stick around because we're getting started right now. Hi there and welcome back. My name is John Farron and I'm a realtor with HomeSmart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. So I ask again, hey John, how's the real estate market? Well, my answer to that is, it depends. Are you thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate? Because the market is different for each one of those different categories. Let me explain. So for our market here in the Phoenix metro area to be considered a balanced market, we need about 30,000 active listings. Now I've been telling you for a long time now that our inventory levels are low and they are really low right now as we sit here currently right now there are 6796 active listings in all of the phoenix metro area remember i said 30 thousands a balanced market and we're at 6700 and last year at this time there were 12,039 active listings so a year ago we were complaining that we're still 50 percent below where we need to be to have a balanced market and now we're even 50 percent below that so then what do these numbers really mean well like i told you a minute ago it depends on your perspective with only 6700 homes available for sale it is a seller's market if you're even remotely considering putting your house on the market this year right now is the time to do it because you don't have any competition buyer demand is still really high but like I said, the available inventory just isn't there. So homes that go on the market today quite often are getting multiple offers and selling in just a couple of days. Now, if your perspective is coming from that of a buyer, not going to lie, it's kind of difficult, especially if you're a first time buyer right now. There's so many buyers in the market looking for homes and there's so few homes available that there's a whole lot of competition between buyers and many buyers are getting beat out time after time after time. But don't lose out because with persistence and diligence, you will get into your dream home. All right, so now we're gonna zero in on Queen Creek and just talk about this specific area. And I, I should point out that these numbers are all, except for active listings, these numbers are all reactionary. And what I mean by that is, I can go into the MLS right now and tell you how many active listings there are, but the sold listings, the things that are selling right now, they all went under contract 30, 45, 60 days ago, back in April, May, June, right when we were at the height of the coronavirus pandemic. So it only stands to reason that when things slowed down in March, we would see that appear in today's sold stats. All right, so let's take a look at the market statistics compiled by the Arizona Regional Multiple Listing Service for June of 2020. Now the first metric we're gonna take a look at are active listings. These are homes that are currently available for sale on the market. They don't have a contract on them. They're out there, they're waiting for buyers to come along. So in June, we averaged 124 active listings, which again is 50% below where we were just a year ago. Now, as we stand today, there are 193 active listings on the market in Queen Creek. So what that means is July is off to a much better start than we had in all of June. And I think we can look at June and the diminished numbers and directly apply that to the coronavirus pandemic. I mean, sellers, they, they hit the brakes. They didn't want people in their homes. They didn't want uh, to go through the headaches or hassles, if you will, of putting their house on the market. They decided they'd just pump the brakes, wait it out and see what happens. And then things got better. Restrictions were lifted, and now we see that the market is rebounding and homes are starting to come on the market again. Now here in Arizona, we have had some new restrictions placed on us again, so we'll have to see how that affects the market. But as we sit right now, there's 193 homes available, which might sound like a lot, but again, that's really only about a quarter of where we ought to be to have a balanced market. So next, let's take a look at the sold listings. These are homes that actually closed escrow in June and new owners took possession of them. Now these numbers are up 25% from where they were just a year ago, which kind of makes you go, wait a minute, listings are down, but sales are up. That's right, more homes are selling than we have the available inventory to keep up with. That's why our inventory is dropping, 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 because more homes are selling, selling, selling. So remember, these homes that sold or closed escrow in June, they actually went under contract in May or April. 
So the numbers we're seeing for June are reflective of what was going on 30 to 60 days prior. With that being said, I would expect to see the numbers for July to be much higher because of the increased activity that we're seeing in June. Next, let's take a look at the median sales price per square foot. Now the median sales price is that line that splits right down the middle. So you got the line, everything above is the same number of sales as everything below. So it's the median sales price. Don't confuse that with the average sales price. This is the line right down the middle. And that price is up 13.4% over last year at $168 per square foot. So what that means is that home prices are continuing to increase year over year. Even though the number of homes available for sale have dropped by 50%, that's really what's kind of pushing the price up and, and making the home values continue to increase. All right, now let's move over and take a look at the inventory or the number of months of supply. What we're sitting at right now is three weeks. What that means is that if we had no other homes come on the market, we would be completely sold out of homes in just three weeks. A balanced market, six months of inventory, and we're at three weeks right now. That is a 60% decrease from where we were a year ago. Again, if you're thinking about selling, now is the time because you don't have any competition. And then the median days on market, that's the days from the time the sign goes into the yard to the time that it's no longer available for sale. And there's some wiggle room in, in how that's calculated. But the median has gone up 2.4% to 43 days on market. Now this takes into account homes across the entire spectrum of sale prices. Why that's important is because the high-end homes, the luxury homes, they're gonna take a little bit longer to sell. And the entry level homes or first time starter homes, they're selling really fast. So that's gonna have an effect on where that median number is. So if you have a home that you're selling and it's in the three fifty, four hundred thousand dollar range or below, chances are it's going to sell really quick. So what does all this mean specifically to you? Well, let's back up for just a second. Our busy season here is February through May, but that was at the high of the coronavirus pandemic. And so buyers who would have entered the market, they pushed it off until now. Buyers who planned on coming into the market in summertime, they're also here now. So we have pent up demand on top of the regular summertime demand anyway. So what that comes down to is if you're a seller, we need your homes. The market needs your homes. If you've remotely considered selling your home this year, right now is the time to do it. And if you're a buyer, you've got a lot of competition, so you're gonna have to be quick, aggressive, but patient to get into that home that you're really looking for. So that's it for today. I hope you found this information useful. If so, share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell up there so you're notified every time a new video gets uploaded. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.